Question number one, which of the following is not a part of the axial skeleton in a human? A, ribs, B, pelvis, C, vertebral colon, D, skull. Answer is B, the pelvis. Pelvis is not considered a part of the axial skeleton. Explanation. If we are looking here, we have axial and appendicular skeletal system. If you are looking for the axial, axial is made up of skull and the neck, or we can say the vertebral colon, rib cage, and the breastbone. Again, skull, rib cage, vertebral colon, and the sternum or the breastbone. This is the axial skeleton. If you are looking for the appendicular skeleton, this is the rest of the skeletal system, which is the bones of the arm, the bones of the leg, and the shoulder girdle and the pelvic girdle. So the question is saying, which of the following is not a part of the axial skeleton? Ribs is part of the axial skeleton. Vertebral colon is a part of the axial skeleton. Skull, of course, this is one of the part of the axial skeleton. But pelvis is a part of the appendicular skeleton, not the axial skeleton. Question number two, which of the following is a part of the axial skeleton in a human? A, shoulder bone, B, clavicle, C, sternum, D, hip bone. Answer is C, sternum. Sternum also is being referred to as, yes, is being referred to as the breast bone. If you are looking here, axial skeleton is made up of skull, vertebral colon, Rib cage and the sternum or the breastbone. Question number three: When a medical report indicates irregular fractures, the bone are expected to be A. Skull, B. Wrist, C. Leg, D. Vertebra. Yes, it is D. Answer is D. Vertebra. If you are looking here for the structure of the vertebra. It has a lot of sutures and a lot of extensions so that regularly the irregular fractures, especially in the spine, okay, is occurred in the vertebra. Question number four. Someone with osteoporosis lacks A. Sodium B. Vitamin A C. Calcium D. Vitamin B. Answer is C. Calcium. Sure. If you explain and extend our explanation, this is the normal bone that has sufficient amount of calcium. As you know, the calcium will be deposited in the tissue of the bone and make it dense and strong. And the person that has osteoporosis, the, yes, the bone will lack of calcium. So the amount of calcium in the body is not sufficient. So the deposition of it in order to make the bone stronger and healthier will not be there. So this is a case, the bone will be fragile and easy to be broken. This case is known as osteoporosis, at which the uh, calcium is lack in the, in the person. Question number five, what cells gets rid of weak and damaged o, uh, osteocytes? A, osteoclast, B, osteocystic osteolysis, C, osteoplast, D, osteobrogenesis or osteobrigenotors. Correct. The answer is A, osteoclast. If you are looking here, this is the structure of the osteoclast or the bone breaking cells. The bone breaking cells. They are the osteoclast, which are bone reabsorbing cells. As we know, we have mostly two, two types of, osteo, uh, of the bone cells. We have osteoclast and osteoplast. Osteoplast is the bone making osteoclast are or consider the bone breaking cells so they are br break the weak weak uh, bone cells in order to make use of those components to build new healthy strong bone cells six a solid connective tissue that connects muscle and bones that connect muscle and bones both this in mind connect muscle to bone a ligaments 
B, tendons. C, cartilage. D, joints. Yes, sure. Correct answer is B, tendon. The connective tissue that connects the muscle to bone is tendon. Bone to bone is ligament that connect bone to bone ligament. Joint is the point at which the bone meets another bone. So we have joints, ligaments, tendons. Tendons connect muscle to the bone, this. But what connects the bone to the bone is the ligament. And the point at which the bone meets another bone, this is known as joints. Not to be uh, tricked. Question number seven. The hip and shoulder joints are A, pivot joints, B, hinge joints, C, gliding joints, D, ball and socket joints. Sure. Correct answer is D, ball and socket joints. If we extend our explanation, this is the structure. This is the ball and this its socket. This is the socket at which the head of the femur bone will get in. This is the ball and socket joints. Okay, of course, this is the um, this is the hip bone. This is the pelvis. Okay, but also the shoulder bone is by the same way. There is a ball and there's its socket, and here there is the articulation. It can move in a wide range of movements. Yes, uh, if we even extend our answer, we will say that we have different types of uh, joints. We have ball and socket, that previously one that we just illustrate. Okay, in which the ball and socket joints, the ball like the surface, okay, of a bone fits into a cup like shape, okay, of another bone that allows the widest range of movements, okay, and okay, any kind of more than any kind of other joints. Okay. Of course, such like this the pelvis and the shoulder bone. The pivot point, if you are looking here, this is the primary movement at a pivot joint is rotation is rotation, such like even the uh, uh, the neck, the skull that is being hanged on the neck. Also here, this is the hinge bone, I'm sorry, the hinge joint. In a hinge joint, here there is a convex surface of, the, of one bone that is fits into another concave, okay, surface of another bone. Of course, the elbow is one of the most uh, common hinge uh, joints. Gliding, if you are looking here for the gliding joints allow side to side and back and forth movement, such like those that are found in the uh, in the wrist. Here we have the sutures. Sutures are move uh, non movable, non movable joints. Sutures are joints in the skull that are not movable. This is the only non movable joints in our body. Okay, there are twenty bones that are found in the other skulls. All the skull bones, okay, except the lower jaw, of course are not moving. The type of joint that connects them together is known as sutures, which is considered immovable joints. Question number eight. What type of joint is the elbow joint? A, pivot joint. B, hinge joint. C, gliding joint. D, ball and socket. It is hinge joint. If we extend our answer, as we just mentioned, there is a convex surface and there is another concave surface that fits to it and this is the elbow joint which is considered as yes a hinge joint yeah this is the diagram in order to illustrate it there is a concave and there's a convex surface that are fitting together making the elbow considered as a hinge joint question number nine the picture below shows which type of joints a hip b tubular C, elbow, D, skull. Yes, the correct answer is, yeah, C. Let's consider the elbow, the elbow joint. It's very easy. Okay. Question number 10. An infection that affects the joints and lose their strength is A, osteoarthritis, B, rheumatoid arthritis, C, the uh, prostis, D, trains, I'm sorry. It is B. Correct answer is B. Rheumatoid arthritis. If we extended our answer, we have to put in mind that the rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. If you are looking here, in the rheumatoid arthritis, which is considered 
and autoimmune disease. The cells of the immune system, your own immune system, attack your body. So the immune system of the body attack the same body or attack itself. So the cells of the immune system attack the tissue around the joint, causing the tissue to become inflamed. This is the damaged cartilage. All of those are because of the autoimmune autoimmunity or autoimmune disease. Question number 11. Red and white blood cells and platelets are formed in A. Yellow bone marrow B. Bone cells C. Red bone marrow D. Marrow cavity Correct answer is C. Red bone marrow If you are looking here, this is the red bone marrow Okay At which all of the blood components are being made From the uh, RBCs or, or um, the red blood cells Okay even the blood stem cells that are regenerating in order to form all of different types of the blood cells, all of the types of the white blood cells, and even the platelets. So all of them are being made in the red bone marrow. Question number 12. Which of the following is responsible for formation of red blood cells? A, the muscular system. B, lymphatic system. C, the skeletal system. D, the nervous system. Correct answer is C. Yes, the skeletal system. If we extend the answer, we, we see clearly that all of the components of the blood cells are being made in the bone marrow and the bone marrow found inside the, yes, the bones, okay, and bone is a part of the skeletal system. Of course, not the muscular, not the lymphatic, not the nervous system. Question number 13. When testing a person's blood and it shows high levels of calcium in his uh, or her blood, uh, his or her body, where is the extra calcium stored? A. Liver. B. Bone tissues. C. Muscle. D. Cartilage tissues. Correct. Correct answer is B. Bone tissues. If we explain this, we can see that, for example, here we have. Of course, the calcium uh, homeostasis of the body is supposed to be from 9 to 11 milligram per 100 milliliter of the blood. If there is any change in this uh, level, okay, there will be a homeostasis in order to maintain it constant. For example, there is, there is a raising in the blood calcium levels in the body. In this case, the thyroid gland will secrete the hormone, the calist uh, um, calistonin, okay, and in this case, the calistin stimulate the calcium salt to be deposited in the bone to be deposited in the bone and in this case will be stored in your bone tissue opposite will be happening if there is a falling in the calcium blood in the uh, the calcium level in your blood and in this case the parathyroid gland will secrete the bth or the parathyroid okay uh, hormone the bth hormone which will stimulate the osteoclast in order to go to your bone and break some of the damaged and worn out cells in order to, yes, increase the calcium level in your blood in order to maintain it at a constant level or at a constant, yes, uh, sit range, which is 9 to 11 milligram per 100 ml of your blood. This is the whole story of this. Yes, yeah, I, I just illustrated this one. Question number 14. Uh, to watch the protein filaments, myosin and actin, uh, make uh, make slit in the muscular tissue taken from A. Bladder B. Uterus C. Stomach D. Arm Correct answer is D, which is arm. Why? If you are looking here, of course, arm, the muscles of the arm are skeletal. Why? Because they are attached to bone. Okay, we will go even for the classification of the muscles and different types of them. And you can easily find that this is the uh, muscle the fiber. And if you are looking even for the myofibrils, you can find easily that the actin and myosin filaments are present there. This is very easy to see them in this, uh, in this case. If you are even extend our answer, okay, it may become later, sorry. Yeah, question number 15. What is the type of muscles that line the stomach in humans? A. Smooth B. Skeletal C. Cardiac D. Voluntary 
Yes, sure, Saud. It is, correct answer is A, smooth. Yes, if we extend our answer, this is the stomach and this is the shape of the small uh, muscle cells that are lying the internal viscera, generally. And as we know, we have three types of muscles. We have smooth, skeletal, and cardiac. Smooth that are lining the internal organs, okay, such like the gastrointestinal tract, the bladder, okay, uh, while the skeletal are those that attach to the skeletal system, bones, and the cardiac is only for the heart muscle. Yes. Yeah, if we're extending our answer, we have three different types of, um, of muscles. Firstly, we have the cardiac muscle. It's only dedicated for making the uh, heart muscle, which is very strong and never get tired and work all over your life, never take rest. This is the cardiac muscle. It's involuntary muscle. And here we have the skeletal muscle, those muscles that are attached to the skeletal system or to uh, attached to your bone. They are voluntary. You can control their action. You can move them, okay, contract and relax. You are controlling them, okay. And we have the smooth muscles. They are all involuntary and they are lining the internal organs and they are making, for example, the GIT or the gastrointestinal tract.